Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nadia Gulesh here, back with another video. I apologize for the camera quality. I know it's not the best, but my camera on that, my camera was like broken or something was wrong with it. Now I have to use this um, external web camera. So sorry for that. But today's video is going to be about Neo and its expansion towards the West and its high upside for growth. So basically a Neo stock analysis. So before I begin, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor and should always do your own due diligence and race before taking part in any investments. Grab your favorite drink because this is going to be a long ride. All right. So let's get into it. Okay. Oh, I have to exit the Zoom. I use Zoom for recording. So, so Neo Inc. ADR Neo Stock ticker symbol N I O currently trading at forty two dollars and eighty cents. Okay. Over the past year, it's seen upside of 233.85% plus 29.98 over one year. You can see back in 2020, it was about $12. Now, it's, it's about four times, the, almost four times the price, which is crazy. Um, it's crazy. That's absolutely insane. So they, they don't have a PE ratio yet since they're so young, but we let's look at this article. I preserved this article for you people. So two catalysts that will take Neo to the moon. A new dominant in the Chinese EV market, Neo is firing on all cylinders. The company did not have an easy ride initially, but it's gearing up for the EV market right now. Neo stock had a rough start after going public in 2018, but it had an excellent 2021. They have record-breaking numbers and they're a new competitor of Tesla. So despite the pandemic and chip shortage, Neo has been able to maintain strong delivery numbers. It's constantly expanding the market and has remained patient through the ups and downs. The patients have certainly paid off. And they're the most sought after EV manufacturers in the diverse product portfolio. Neo stock went from 13 in July 2020 to 43 in July 2021. The stock is up more than 200% year over year, and there's no stopping the momentum. On Neo Power Day last week, the company announced expansion plans to grow the battery swap station deployment, known as Neo Power 2025. The company plans to expand the swap station to 4,000 by the end of 2025, including thousands outside of China. It already has 301 swap stations and two or four fast charging stations. Okay, if I'm going too fast, just let me know in the comments below. It's just that my computer has become a bit laggy, so I'm trying to, you know, beat the speed. Right, additionally, Neo has 382 destinations charging stations. The company aims to increase to more than 700 stations by the end of this year. All right, next. I'm, I apologize for the lag, guys. My computer is being weird. Let me see if I can get any of these to load. There we are. So Neo receives approval for mass production in Europe. Sorry for the lag, guys. So Neo ES8 re receives approval for mass production in Europe. They're expanding to Europe. Yes, 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 yes. Chinese EV automaker Neo announced received European whole vehicle type approval. EWVTA, first flagship SUV, the ES8. The essential certification will allow for mass products of Neo ES8 as well as license plate registration for all countries in the European government, in the Euro, like the UK. And they have an official press release, and it had, as a result, the flag SUV is now approved for mass production and they plan to bring it to Norway this September, along with its direct sales and service network, as well as access to Neo House, an exclusive community for Neo owners. Furthermore, the Neo app will be able to, be able to new European users, along with power swap stations and Neo Life, the automaker's merchandise marketplace. 
Okay. Where this one, where will Neo be in five years? I just wanted to include this because I thought it was good. Neo is a high growth Chinese EV player with attractive products. Its BAAS technology provides a USB that should help Neo gain market share in the coming years. Neo is traded at a high valuation and a lot of future growth is priced in already. Investors might have to be patient to see the growth story play out. This is just an advertisement, so I'm not going to read it. So at slightly below $40, this was like recently, like about, about like a few days ago, new is valued, valued at more than $60 billion right now. This is about 40% less than the valuation shares traded at when they peaked at early 2021 which reflects the declining enthusiasm for EV stocks as most of NEO's peers, including Tesla, have seen their shares come back as well. Still for reference, NEO is valued around the same level as Ford, which is a way larger company for now in terms of revenue and vehicle sales. Is NEO a good long-term stock? NEO is active in the, in the high growth EV market and thus benefits a lot from market growth tailwinds. On top of that, NEO has an attractive product portfolio that includes well-received models such as ES6 and ESA SUVs. What difference in it differentiates Neo from other EV companies is its battery swap swapping technology, and it allows consumers to get a fully charged battery in a couple of minutes when visiting one of Neo's battery swapping stations instead of waiting for it to charge. Downtime when doing longer trips is reduced dead time. Reduced, reduced dramatically as a battery swap takes roughly as much as time as refueling an ICE powered car, like regular powered cars, whereas recharging most EVs takes well more than a couple of minutes. The, the battery swapping stations are being built around China all everywhere, like everywhere, um, ma along mainland China and I think Taiwan, although there's no meaningful footprint outside of Neil's home market yet. Okay, for 2021, NEO will likely deliver revenue growth of more than 100% on the back of strong deliveries growth, as the analyst community is currently forecasting 130% revenue increase this year. For quarter two, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, sorry. NEO is expecting growth rate around 110% for its deliveries, following a massive 480% revenue increase during the first year. Sorry, first quarter. Neo thus is growing quicker than the EV market as a whole, and also quicker than peers such as Tesla, which will grow around by 50 to 60 percent this year, according to the analyst community, which is about half the growth rate that is, that's expected for Neo this year. Amazing, like amazing job. Okay, so let's see if this article is can load. So Neo is a well as well positioned in a booming industry. NEO is building an increasingly strong product line. China's support for domestic EV players is one of NEO's key competitive advantages. Despite the tailwinds bolstering NEO, the company still faces a major competitive challenge from Tesla and traditional automakers. The EV industry has gained some serious momentum over the past few years. Well, NEO is growing at an incredibly rapid rate and is cultivating a loyal and enthusiastic fan base similar to that of Tesla. So they're basically comparing it to Tesla. And one of the risks with the stock is that it'll have to be its major competitors like Lucid and Tesla and other like e other EV companies. Neo is one of the few companies that has a real chance at establishing a strong foothold in the booming EV market. The company has done a great job of remaining relevant despite Tesla's seemingly unstoppable momentum. By the way, Elon Musk started to call himself Techno King. Just just an FYI on Twitter. Given, given that even well-established auto companies have been struggling to keep pace with Tesla, Neo's success is thus far as impressive. Okay. In fact, Neo delivered 20,060 ESA, ES6, and ESC units in quarter one, which translates into an astonishing 422.7 year-over-year growth rate. NEO's EV models, which both features even Tesla models don't have, are clearly capturing the attention of consumers. I feel like my favorite feature like in their car, just like, by the way, if, you, if you've ever seen the car, is that, that little NEO assistant. It's, it's amazing. It's just amazing. You could, 
it's like it's basically like an Alexa times a hundred in your car. It's, it's amazing. The quality range and software behind, behind Neo's vehicles is actually making them a compelling alternative to Tesla's vehicles, or even cheaper. Neo has managed to cultivate a highly devoted following and strengthening its growing ecosystem through unique concepts like the Neo House. Yeah, this their assistant, Nomi. It's called Nomi, and this is their assistant. I absolutely love this feature since it lets it lets you. It, you don't have to have to do you don't have to do as much work as you as a conventional car. It's it's a game changing for the industry. So one of the if not most important advantages Neo holds is the support it receives from the Chinese government. While China is also supporting competitors like Tesla, there's little doubt the government favors its homegrown companies. Neo would arguably be, be bankrupt if it were not for a one billion dollar government investment last year. All right, next. The major risks are auto companies like Ford, even technology like Apple, and the company still competing against automotive giants with decades of experience, not to mention Tesla. And they will have to compete with domestic competitors like Xpeng for government favor. Although, although Neo currently appears to be favored by the Chinese government, this could easily change in such like a fast paced industry. Moreover, it's questionable if Neo can keep up with the Tesla, even with the backing of the Chinese government. Okay, so Neo to launch in Europe as it starts global expansion. I just wanted to touch more on that. They're gonna sell cars to Norwegians at a Thursday press conference. Marius Hala, general manager at Neo's Norway branch, said the company aims to deliver the Neo ES8, an all electric seven seater sport utility vehicle later this year and to start taking orders for the ET7, a premium sedan next year. Their overseas store, the first overseas store, is expected to open also in December together with 18,000 square meters service center. By 2022, Haler said the company aims to expand its store network to other Norwegian cities. So, in conclusion, I feel that NU has an amazing upside and it will, grow, it will continue to grow and have a positive outlook throughout the years. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it till the end of this video, if you're one of those lovely, beautiful people, please comment powder puff below. And that's also your cue to subscribe. So see you in the next video. Bye. Love you guys.